Hey everyone, it's Kato, and in today's video, we are going to be doing an entirely green build. I thought, what better place to do this than on Happy Home Paradise, so that's where we are today. So if you enjoy content like this and you want to see more in the future, I'd appreciate if you'd like and subscribe. Make sure you hit that notification bell if you want to be notified every time that I post, but let's get right into it. So I'm here on the Happy Home Paradise Island, and I really want to do an all green build and I don't know how strictly I'm going to stick to that but that's kind of my plan and I'm hoping we can find a good villager to work with we've got Rudy here and Hornsby um, I need a good villager and then we need to start finding green items we need to get a green outfit on we've got a lot of stuff to do so let's find someone to work with we've got Tiffany and who's this Peewee Brofina is here. <gasps> yes. Oh my goodness. Yes. Okay. You're perfect. It has to be you, Murphy. Once I get a vacation home, I'm going to be living in the lap of luxury. I can't wait. Okay. We need to... Yes. Okay. <laughs> I'm so excited. We have a green villager. Okay. So, in order to change clothes, I think I come here... Should I use the locker to change? Uh, edit work uniform? Maybe? Potentially? Should I... Do I have to wear this red stuff? Or can I wear whatever I want? Can we wear a whole green outfit? <gasps> the green do-rag, obviously. Um, the glasses are fine. Let's find some shoes. Okay, I'm going to pick out an outfit, and then we will go from there. This outfit is a lot right now, but I think it'll work. I think it'll work. Here he is. He wants a factory in a small town where you're not going to get it. You're not going to get it. You're going to get an entirely green thing. An entirely green build so I chose the location and like I said I'm not gonna be doing this factory right now for him and we're just gonna try to do something green so I think I'm gonna start out by changing the house and what that looks like so we'll make a green house and then I will start selecting some items I think that's kind of my plan here All right, so I think I have the house. I think this is what I want to go with. And the challenge here is going to be, can I make this look decent with all of the different green shades that I'm going to be using? So I'm really going to try to only choose green stuff and we'll see how this goes. Okay, so this is all the stuff that I gathered to start with, and it's quite a lot of stuff, and I literally have no idea what direction I'm about to take this in. So I'm going to start kind of placing some things and see what happens. I, I assume it's going to take kind of a nature direction with all of this stuff. I definitely want to include some shamrock, what are these, shamrock shakes or shamrock drinks for St. Patrick's Day, which is going to be the day that you're watching this. So I definitely want to include those somewhere, but I think obviously with green, including a bunch of nature is probably going to be the easiest route. So we're going to see how this goes. My goal is just to make it look decent because using all of one color is definitely not going to be the easiest task. So we're going to do our best and let's just get started.
I've decided that I'm going to have a seating area over on the right and I really love the way these two patterned chairs or the patterned chair and the sofa look together. So I definitely want to keep that. I think I'm going to have the shamrock sodas over there with that. And then I just kind of want to layer some different trees, use these giant vines. I'm kind of weeding out items as I go through these. For example, the froggy chair, uh, some of the different tables that I had chosen. They're just not going to work for the build. I'm also trying to layer in different plants, especially the Schefflera plant. I absolutely love that one. And I'm really going to focus on filling as much space as I can. Now at this point, I have two pretty distinct sections. I have the area on the left with the storage shed, and then I have the area on the right with the seating area. And now I wanna add in some custom patterns just to break things up. I feel like some kind of pathing or custom pattern always helps to make the area feel more full. Thankfully on this island, I do have this green custom pattern, which I think works perfect. After laying down the pattern, all I have to add is some different bushes and weeds just different things to fill the empty spaces because for whatever reason, I cannot have an empty space. Now right at the very end here, I have a couple areas in the back that need to be filled and I decided to add in this cactus and what I love about the cactus is it has the tiny little pop of pink to pull out that pink from the path and that's really the only other color other than the 
brown from the trees that we have going on here. So I really, really like the way that turns out. All right, so here we are with the finished green build. I actually like the way this turned out. It's a lot of green. You definitely have to like green to enjoy this, but I think it looks pretty good um, for what I had to work with. And here's the thing. I really tried to make the light green work, but it just wasn't working. So I ended up trying to really stick with this darker green and not including things like the green mums, all of that stuff. So that's what I did, and this is what I have. I would love to see other people try this out, doing an all green build on their island or on Happy Home Paradise. If you do, definitely tag me. Is there another color you would like to see me try out of the same style build? maybe pink or blue. Let me know down in the comments below. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, I'd appreciate it if you like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.